First tonight, the Austin Police Bomb Squad was instrumental during the Austin bombings last month. And while they're starting to wind down following that crisis, they're still getting an above average amount of calls. KV's Jenny Lee joins us now with a look at some of the tools helping the squad keep our city safe. Well, Mike and Quita, the bomb squad is winding down, but the team tells me they are still responding to more suspicious packages now than before last month's bombings. For instance, they responded to four suspicious package calls yesterday yesterday where before the team will get four an entire month's time, which makes having all their resources more important than ever. This is one of four APD bomb robots that helps keep officers at a safer distance when investigating suspicious packages. They're able to pick up items, climb stairs, act as surveillance and scan for explosives. Come next week, a newer model that will travel faster and have greater lifting capabilities is expected to arrive. A second will follow in a few months. They put eyes and ears in situations where we don't want to jeopardize human lives. These robots deployed hundreds of times last month when a serial bomber terrorized our city, a time the team won't soon forget. It was pretty endless. We were getting, you know, two to three hours of sleep a night and then, uh, you know, waking up the next day to, to a bombing that we had to go to. And then in between working these bombings, you know, we would have to cut guys loose off of the bombing calls to go run more suspicious package calls. It was pretty nonstop. I was in shock. Um, you know, each time we kept getting a, a subsequent bombing, it just take the breath away from me. And then I'd immediately start thinking about my technicians that were running towards those scenes and what they might be running into. Um, and as they got more complex, such as the tripwire, it scared me to death. Manipulate that image to get a better view. Team members say this new portable x-ray device called the Nano saved them time when they didn't know how much they had. Previously, before us having these Nanos, we would take one of these two big trucks and that was our only capabilities to conduct an x-ray. Resources and technology they're using to make Austin safer. Now, Governor Greg Abbott's office provided $265,000 last month for APD to buy several of those portable x-ray systems.